Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, today's video is going to be another plus size fashion haul because I haven't spent enough money on clothes. So, why not go all the way bankrupt? Um, I decided to do a little perusing on Walmart's website like a couple weeks ago. I haven't bought anything from Walmart like clothes wise for myself in a long time. So I think last time was really like fall-ish time. I think the last haul I did was really the last time I really bought anything from Walmart. Um, and I've noticed a couple things. I feel like they're changing a lot of their stuff. I feel like they're trying to go more high-end. Um, I feel like they're trying really hard to keep up with Target. So they're like doing all these new brand lines and I feel like they're getting rid of a lot of tried and true, like Faded Glory and No Boundaries. All those lines that I've loved since I was like a kid. <laughs> and I feel like everything is going a little bit up in price too. So I don't know how I feel about it quite yet. Um, most of the stuff I got was were new brands that I've never tried before. And uh, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised like I'm happy with them but I feel like the prices have gone up quite a bit I feel like I'm shopping more at Target price levels or for 21 or something like that rather than Walmart so I don't know how I feel about it you know because Walmart was always like a good bargain you can get really trendy pieces for like nothing and now it's like okay $22 for a top don't know how I feel about that you know Walmart I don't know how I feel anyway so uh let's just hop right in shall we let's just hop right in all right, so the first thing I'm going to share with you is a nightie, and I've worn this a couple times already, so if there's like a random stain or something, it's probably coffee or God knows what, I don't know. But um, it is this little number. Now, they have multiple prints on of this specific item, so if you aren't feeling this, then don't you fret because they have different things. Uh, I really love nightgowns. They're my favorite thing, but I've said in the past, and if you were new, I really dress like a hobo or like a, you know, 900 pound man when I sleep. Like I like really, really, really baggy clothes. I don't know why, it's just how always how I've been. So, um, I feel like I need to be a little, a little bit more sexy. You know, my husband appreciates it. He's tired of the big baggy ginormous shirts and pants because they're doing nobody justice, okay? So I've been trying to branch out and every so often I'll just buy a new PJ set and stuff and just wear it a lot and then it just falls apart because I wear it too often and it's a vicious cycle. Anyway, this nightgown is super comfortable, super lightweight, has a nice stretch to it. It's pretty, it's basic, it's a nighty, it's cotton. There's nothing bad, nothing bad I can say about it besides the fact that I feel like it runs a tiny bit small now I like I said to you I like my things big when I sleep so I decided to get a 2x 2x for this brand Which is by the way secret treasures is 18 wide to 20 wide and so and I'm a pretty true regular 16 so I want, I expected this to be a bit baggier than it is. It's not skin tight or something that I feel like I can't wear, but I will say that it's not something that I feel super like, you know, flowy, hides all every, every lump and junk and trunk, you know what I'm saying? But um, not terrible, not terrible. This was pretty inexpensive. I should probably bring up the prices. So this was $11.46. Um, I think it's totally worth it. It's comfortable. It's nice. I think it's perfect for the summer. It's cute and floral and pretty and happy. And so I don't know this thing's cute. But if you don't like this particular pattern, there's like hot pink, black, blue, solid prints. I mean, if this isn't your thing, they have multiple other options. But if you like a nighty, that's a good one. Um, I also ordered like three other things and they all got messed up. Like I ordered a swimsuit cover up that came and it was completely different. I ordered two items that were also completely different that were like a so I ordered the swimsuit cover up and they sent me the wrong one that was still an option there. So I'm not gonna show you those because I don't like those and they aren't what I ordered. Um but they didn't mess up. I've never had that happen to me before with them. I've never really had a messed up order from Walmart before and I'm sure it's probably just like one time but I just thought I'd mention that. I don't want to ask if you guys have had any experiences with that recently because I was so disappointed. I was really hoping to 
got a new swimsuit cover up before a party I went to and it was wrong so it's okay though it's okay okay this next thing is something I would have never ordered for myself but just thought it was too dang cute and it's a tube top and tube top tube 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 tops are like in again right is that like a thing I'm sure they've been in for a long time but I feel like I feel like it's like the first tube top that I've like seen in store that's like an actual tube top. It's not just like off the shoulder. I mean, it's like under your arms. Um, and it's a kind of a dusty, rusty tan color, um, beigey. So I feel like I'm really pale, so it may not be as flattering on me. But if you have a bit deeper skin tone, I think this would look so pretty on you. They had a light blue, but I just have nothing in this. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. We're going to try it anyway. Um, it's a little bit short. It's kind of like a cropped tube top, basically. Is that a thing? I'm thinking it is. Um, and it is from the brand Poof. Now, I did get, I think, one other item here from that brand. This is the first time that I've tried this brand out. And I like it. I think this is a really excellent quality item. Um, I think it's pretty. I feel like it may shrink. I got this in a 1X and I feel like it's fine. Um, I obviously feel like always I need more coverage because I just feel naked a lot of times and stuff like this. But I feel like it's really cute. My mom really liked it and she's like really nitpicky about things. So, um, I just tried out, tried it on for her and she really liked it. So I feel like with, this is definitely something to wear, like rock with high-waisted jeans, which I will show you as well. I got a pair of jeans. Um, but I just think this is cute and it just gives me like Lizzie McGuire vibes, you know, like when in Rome, the Lizzie McGuire movie, it was not when in Rome. That is definitely American Ashley, right? There's one in Rome, right, for American Ashley. It's a Rome movie, but I don't know if it's called one in Rome. I think it is. But the Liz McGuire movie is also taking place in Rome. But that, I just feel like she would rock this. Or maybe American Ashley would have rocked this in one in Rome. It totally looks like their vibe, too, like so little time. Anyway, it has this beautiful, like, eyeless, eyelet, kind of like um, Bardot-y type of vibe um, under the boob area and it's really nice the elastic is nice it doesn't dig in but it definitely stays still and it flares out at the bottom so I like this I like it okay that was eleven fifty. so that was also a good price here I am complaining about prices and I feel like everything I've said so far the two items that I've talked about have been good prices okay now the next thing is this black top when I saw it online it gave me very like charmed coveny vibes and i was totally about it especially because they're doing a charmed reboot although i just saw the trailer and i'm pretty underwhelmed i'm a little sad about it but hopefully hopefully it'll hit me in the heart good i'm like already ready for fall can you not tell with my dark lips i'm like over summer already ready for like my witchy halloweeny octobers because i'm just over it already the heat in texas is real already so anyway i picked up this and online i feel like it looked so much better just a lot more figure flattering um this is from the brand always grace and this was a 1x and it is to me way too big my mom doesn't think so tell me what you think i feel like there's a lot of room in the arms there's a lot of room in the bust area it just doesn't i feel like to make this type of shirt to work i feel like it needs a little bit more figure hugging so um it has pleats in the front with these buttons these like pearlized kind of um circular buttons that go down and then it opens up and like if you wanted to wear it without a shirt underneath you could totally rock it and i think it would be really cute or you could wear it with the cami underneath it has flowy bell-shaped sleeves but they're like three-quarter length with some lace on each sleeve as well as the bottom of it and it's really pretty I just it's not giving me the same vibe that I wanted it's a lot more like conservative than I thought it was gonna be not that I want to be like showing off all my goods but I was hoping for more like you know Sabrina the Teenage Witch and less you know I Dream a Genie maybe no because she was a babe too you know what I'm saying I don't know I just it was I need a little bit more I think so I would have probably gone down a size I actually don't know if they had a smaller size in this or if they kept it in straight sizing um, because if they did I think I would have tried that instead now this is 95% rayon and 5% spandex there is a nice stretch and give to this so if you are bigger normally than a 1x like if you order a 2x 
or a 3x and vice versa, you know, so on, and then I would definitely size down if you're looking for the type of fit I'm talking about. Just a little bit tighter, a little bit more, you know, like figure head hugging. I don't know. I'll wear it, but I don't have to feel about it. <laughs> I'm hoping I can shrink it. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So the next thing is another dress. Did I? This is it. This is the other first actual dress, not a nightgown. Um, and this is also by Poof. And this is a tie-dye dress. Now, tie-dye was like the thing I wanted last year. And every time I try to buy something tie-dye, it sold out. I feel like tie-dye was like really cool last summer. And every time I try to get something, it always sold out before I could get it. And I don't know if it's cool anymore. I feel like it's cool every summer. Tie-dye is just a thing. But probably not. You guys are like, yeah, that was like way up. Like three years ago. What are you talking about? I want to wear it anyway. So um, I've actually seen this dress on Walmart's website for probably I think last year so last summer like it's been on for a while or at least last fall but I just think it's so pretty I want to say they had it in like a pink but I loved the sky blue it just gave me like cloudy vibes and once again more Lizzie McGuire I don't know what I'm going for these days um but it has that kind of laced caging kind of vibe up in the front where it kind of goes down into a V. The sleeves belt out. It's flare. I feel like it just hits on all the nice places. Now this isn't a 2X. I think for whatever reason I just decided to go up in this just in case it's shrunk because I do like these dresses a little bit flowy and I feel like this fits fine. I feel like the 1X would have fit fine um, but I do like the a little bit more coverage I get in this, but I do believe it'll probably end up shrinking. Um, but I really like this. It's really lightweight. I, lightweight. I feel like this is perfect for the summertime, especially if you want to wear um, really cute dresses and stuff like that, but everything's like short sleeve or off the shoulder or whatever, and you want to like cover up your arms if you're a little bit insecure. I feel like this is a great option for you because it still gives you that really cute, happy, summery vibe but it's not heavy uh once again very liz mcguire okay so this this cost 12 dollars. i feel like this was more expensive when i bought things i totally did not feel this cost 12 dollars. i feel like this was more expensive when i bought it so anyway 12 dollars, totally worth it um they do have a rose color mauve is what they call it on the online it looks a lot pinker but in person it's probably a bit more mauvey but i just loved the like sky blue of this i thought this was fun so i'm excited to wear that and we'll talk about this top now i think i ordered this thing on a whim i'm not really sure what i was thinking when i ordered it but if anything is black and has like this rose like red roses on it I'm like totally all about it I feel like maybe that trend is probably dying but I was like okay there's smaller flowers though so maybe it's not maybe that's it now um I don't know how I feel about this I will show you so basically it is high neck ruffled um cold shouldered flouncy blouse so it's very billowy and very um it's a lot of coverage and a lot of fabric but I think it's really pretty and I feel like it could be really bold like with a really beautiful bold red lip I feel like this would look really pretty with a tan I feel like you could rock this in the fall time, but it's still lightweight enough They do have this in other colors, but you know black and me were besties So I ordered it in this and um, I just don't know I'm kind of on the fence. This is also in a 1x and It's a, it's pretty big I will say I feel like it there definitely is a lot of space I feel like I could have gone down to a straight size in this as well if they had that option um I feel like this was more of a miss on clothing sizes this time normally I'm pretty good with ordering from Walmart but like I said these brands for once I've not tried before so I feel like things kind of up in the air um this brand is called miss lily by the way and i really like it i think it's really really pretty um and i like the fact like i feel like if you have long hair this would be really pretty with like a high bun top knot or like if you have a pixie like me or a little bob i feel like it's sassy and cute i just don't know if it's just too much so you guys let me know you guys are always good and helpful with that but i think it's pretty i think it's really pretty and feminine but it's it is definitely super conservative so if that is something that you're interested in then i mean there you go now the last thing i'm going to show you are this was like the fastest haul for me i feel like normally i have like 20 things but i'm trying to be conservative with spending money 
too. So anyway, um, the next thing I'm going to show you are a pair of jeans. Now I am so picky when it comes to pants. You guys know I don't order a lot of pants because I am just so incredibly picky. I live in leggings and dresses and rompers because it's just easy. I hate wearing jeans. I will try anything in my power not to wear jeans. And if I do wear them, I wear them for like an hour and then I'm done. Like if we go to church, I'll wear jeans and then I'm like right when we come home, I'm out of them. I just don't like jeans. I just feel like they're so uncomfortable. So it takes a lot for me to buy some, but I was saw these and they just spoke to me and I'm so glad I ordered them. They're from a brand called Elite Jeans. Now I don't know what these, well, I mean, like, I don't know much about this brand. They are made in the USA, apparently. And I believe these were in the Juniors Plus section. Now, the weirdest thing is the the size of these are 17, 18. Now, for pants, I'm very, I normally am pretty so good in a 16, but I always typically order up because out of fear that they're going to be too small. And typically, they're always too big. So, I don't know why I keep doing that, but... Like eight, I'm right between a 16 and 18. I feel like when it comes to my bottom, I'm now less hourglass and more pear shaped. My hips are pretty wide. Um, so I'm kind of like in between on what to order, but this was 17, 18. And I think when I ordered it, I just ordered as an 18, but it came, it says the size is 17, 18. So I don't know what the heck that has to do with anything. Like I've never heard of that sizing, but I will say it's nice. Um, they're still a little bit loose. They're not like, as maybe tight and like pew, as I would have wanted, you know, it was a little bit of a little bit of lifting, um, but they're not bad. They are super comfortable. They have a nice stretch to them. That's the only thing is I wish they were a tiny bit tighter because I do feel like these are going to stretch out throughout the day, but we'll see. Um, they the wash is not something I would have ever ordered either, but I just love it. It gives me like a tie dye vibe tube. It's like acid washed, bleached random spots all over there's paint splatters all over them giant rips these things look like they've been through war and coming out on the other side but i just i loved i think i loved the acid wash of them and i just thought that was super cute and then i loved the the stressing and the holes and the paint splatter i just thought these were so cute i like them a lot i'm so excited and i spent like 1380 on these things like for me even though everything else was really cheap even though i complained in the beginning um these to me were the steal of the day i just loved them i was so excited and they're like nothing i have and i feel like they would go with so many cute tops they're a statement piece in themselves they're comfortable they're not super heavy total win so if you like crazy distressed jeans or you kind of want to like get out and branch out into that give these a try because i was so impressed that's about it that's about it for this video i'm pleasantly surprised i'm excited to see what walmart continues to do because i feel like they're really trying to up their game with their clothing and they're starting to bring in like more brands and stuff and like i said i feel like there's a new brand like time tried and true or time and true and a couple other ones that to me are like a little bit more on the pricier side like kind of kind of in that middle range but i'm hoping to try out some more of their stuff next time i just wasn't in love with any of the stuff that i saw initially so we'll see maybe closer to fall time they have some more stuff but i hope you guys liked it i hope i gave you guys some ideas i mean everything was awesome prices so i feel like hopefully you guys can find something that is a good decent price for you and uh yeah, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. You guys have no idea. I would love it if you subscribed and join our little family. I make tons of these types of videos all the time. If you didn't know, go to my channel. Tons of plus size fashion hauls. But I also am a mama too and a wife and have a little tiny apartment that I try to make homey. So if you're into any of that stuff, then definitely give me more of a check out. And, um... I picked the winner of my giveaway for my last video of my vintage clothing haul video and um, that was the most fun thing. I, got, I messaged her on Instagram and she was excited because she'd never win anything and I felt so excited to do that so I cannot wait to, that, to do that in the future and every time I work with a company I try really really hard to either get a discount or for you guys or to do a giveaway because you guys are the ones who let me allow me to get those free clothes and stuff so i want to give back to you guys as well and so being able to do that was so much fun and i really want to do more of it so if you like to win free stuff too then 
subscribe as well and I plan on having a couple summer giveaways coming up um, and yeah okay so that's it <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys all very soon bye guys